would call this interview extreme or hardcore, right? All I see is I see one Chun man. As a woman, I'm not going to comment, but it sounds very interesting. So I said, come on over here. <laughs> we won't go there. And then the cowboy hat is like, no, I got to figure out what these guys do. Well, so I'm the developer and the CEO for One Ton Man. And uh, I can actually give you a little background. Right. And uh, so it started out as just me and I felt like I was doing a lot. And so I felt like I sort of had to I had this idea, this uh, sort of superhero personality that when things got tough, that was what I used to keep me going. I was the one ton man. But now we're a one ton team. And so we're actually gonna be, we're gonna be migrating from one ton man to just one ton. And that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be what we're, where we're going with going forward. That is pretty cool. What kind of genre, what kind of game? We're working on a, a word game right now called Atagrams. And we're just in the soft launch stage. We're gonna be releasing it shortly. We have other games as well. We have one, a physics-based game called Tilt that we're going to be re-releasing. Uh, yeah, so we have a lot of things in store for this year. That is really interesting because that is a genre where it's a little bit challenging and we've yes. seen that that takes off like hell. Yes, yes. I mean, actually, our game, Atagrams, the thing that makes it unique is because a lot of word puzzles, there's going to be one solution. Our game, it gives you multiple solutions. So it's the words you see that jump out to you. You know, we had a game uh, play with friends the other night where four of us all got through the progressing rounds and we all played different words, yet we had the same score. So it's all what you see and how that reflects on your personality. And as you can see, we, you know, we like to interject a little personality into our games. Oh, that is cool. So really everyone can play because it's what you see in it. Yes. Then you can have some fun later on with like the psychographics and what do you see in the words and what's going on and then it gets viral and community, right? Correct. Or did I just give you your business idea? <laughs> Maybe. I Maybe think. I'll take a little bit of that. That is very cool. Exactly. It's just what jumps out to you. We all have different reflections on the things that we've seen in our lives, and that's what this game's about. I really like that. I just, I don't want to give you other ideas. You're just like getting your act together here, but... Hey, right. yeah. Right. Would you like oh, to there. join one time? Uh, I, would, I would like to be a one-ton a one one woman. Oh, yeah. my God. Actually, I'm trying not to do that, but <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> but seriously, I was, on a, I was on a panel, right? And it was the whole idea that we have a misperception around what makes for esports or tournaments or anything. And actually, since now we've got games like Uno with a tournament, it's like anything that is cool and interactive. So live entertainment can do this. And I'm just thinking you could imagine the fun of like playing your game, which I haven't done, but now you got me going, which is like, what do you think you see there? What did you just see? And it could be like this whole sort of, um, not competitive, but entertainment. That's correct. I mean, the one thing that we like about our game as well is that it's going to be a learning experience. You're going to have fun just playing, but through that, you're going to better your brain and you can just take away something from that. You're learning new words and you're playing new words, and it just expands upon it. Yeah, we're not just focused on being unique, we're also focused on becoming better. Yes. Have you launched? Are you out there? Can I start playing? Uh, right now we're in soft launch, so okay. depending on which area you are in, if you're in Australia, Canada, Brazil, Greece, Ireland, or South Africa, you can get that game right now for Android and iOS in whichever store you're on. And if you're not in that area, we're running an open beta right now. So if you're on Android, you can still find us in the Play Store if you just look up Atagrams. And if you're on iOS, you'll need that test flight beta service to get it, but you can still get us through that at atagrams.com. What I really like is that you are an indie, you know? It's the real deal here. Well, it's quite the journey. It's been incredible. Um, this past year has been a lot of shifts going from working part-time on the game, you know, and nights and weekends, that kind of deal, to really just jumping in full-time, going full steam ahead and self-funding and all of that. And going from creator to business owner and like team leader, that's just been a huge shift. And it's an amazing learning experience, like Ray has said. And events like this, you know, being able to participate in things like the Big Indie Pitch and the Publisher Speed Match, you know, those are just great growth opportunities for us. I've never done anything like that before, but really I can't I would recommend it to anybody who's, who's looking to mature and grow, especially indies. It's a great opportunity. Thank much. you so much, and good luck. All right? Absolutely. Okay, and hey, I'm one of the team, right? I get to be, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. hey, I get to be a one-ton woman with a one-ton man. Okay, we're just one-ton. One just one-ton. One ton. <laughs>